Hey everybody, welcome back to Hermione's Toy Box. Um, I'm Hermione and this is my dad. Um, today we're going to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Baxter Stockman. Um, and the Ultimates, right there. Kind of see that? Oh yeah, I don't think I noticed that. That's pretty cool. Who makes these? Um, Super 7 does. Super 7, yeah. Super you can see it right cool. there in that corner. And yeah, so we're going to talk about Baxter Stockman. Yeah, this is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive from this year. Um, this is Bug Zapper Blue glowing Baxter Stockman. Uh, you know, Daddy's a sucker for anything that glows in the dark. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, okay. So let's open this big sucker. Okay. So yeah. Um, That's fancy a packaging, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, he has a bio on the back. So let's read it. Um, Baxter Stockman. Baxter Stockman. Baxter Stockman, a man with the mind of a scientist and the body of a common house fly, buzzes around town annoying the turtles and other decent reptiles. Created accidentally in Dimension, Dimension. Dimension X by the mal malfunctioning disintegrator unit, Baxter flurried himself into an in and avenging, avenging. But avenging like, that's a new word too. Frenzy, con, convinced, convinced, <laughs> convinced by Shredder that the sh turtles were solely responsible for his rebirth and as an insect. Baxter now vents his hosti hostility, hostilities, really hostilities. Good. Toward one half shield, toward our half shelled heroes. I always didn't get the half shell thing. The turtles have full shells. It's not like they're mm -hmm. missing the class drawn or something. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, get a good look at that. Um, he has lots of materials and things. Um, yeah. All right, let's so, crack this sucker yeah. open. Where's the knife? It's in my pocket. Nice. You got it? No. Okay. Safety first. Scouts rules. Like this? No, just get it up there. I like think it's this? just one piece of tape. Like yeah, this? away from you. But away from you with the blade. Again, safety first. All right, get it. Okay. Like this? All right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So then... Mm -hmm. More tape. I'll just pull that whole thing out. There he is. Oh, we might need this. He's big. Um, he is big. It's bigger than most flies. And we live uh, in a fly infested environment someday. Um, yeah, so let's come. Alright. Oh. Surgery. It's breaking out. Hmm, some of us. Untwisted, I think. Here we go. Let's let's move that. Okay. So. Oh, look at that. Actually, in there. Yeah. Lots of hands. Hands. He's got hands a lot of down. hands. 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 Yep. I meant to do that. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Something. Yeah, so the vintage line, uh, all the and weapons came on up, screws like that. Yeah, and you could have a weapon yeah. stand, but weapon they didn't stand. want you to have to cut all your weapons off, Ooh. so they gave you weapons loose as well, and painted, because those are not painted. But that's yep. also made of glow-in-the-dark material. Like and lots of hands, like I said. Um, there's hands that are closed all the way, hands that are kind of like this, and then hands that are open. So. That's pretty cool. Nice to have lots of options. And then his hands right now are just kind of three hands, like the turtle's hands. 
And yeah. Oh, the, so, the bug ones. Yeah, he's got three fingers like the turtles. So that's cool. So, kind of looks like zombie's hand. Um, <laughs> I wonder right, if here. he is. He's coming out. You ready? Yeah. I'm catching. I don't know if he can actually fly. Oh, yeah. Alright, give him a tug. He's ready. There you okay. go. Okay. A little heavy. We'll get this stuff out in a second. Yeah, he's heavy, kind of. Heavy duty. Yeah. Um, at first I thought these weren't attached to him, but they are. Um, sure you can... I don't think you can take them off. You might. But, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, His uh suit is pretty shiny. Yeah, it's yeah, pearlescent, it's his, pretty. His, his lab coat there. Yeah, Um, I like the wings. I like the blue. And it kind of looks see-through when I show you guys to me in the video. But I also like his hair. It looks kind of weird, spiky. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, needs to work on his smile. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's pretty cool. How does his uh, articulation look? Looks it like looks good. It's there. kind of hard to stand that. Um, well, you know what, too? And maybe you've never seen it, but the old the Baxter kind of yeah, had like a here. bent, you know, kind of almost like that. Mm -hmm. So see, he stands up pretty good once yeah. you get his legs into the right position. Mm hmm. He's not quite as tall when you do that, too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's get his accessories. He comes with a mouser. That's, That's cool. cool. It looks like a mouser glows in the dark also. Yeah. Very cool. Are you going to open his mouth? I think he can. Gotcha. That's the whole point of a mouser, right? Hmm. Weird. A little stiff? Yeah, he's very... He's almost like a statue. I don't know if he can move at well, all. Let's take a look. Move his head around a little. Maybe it just needs to loosen up. Yeah, he, his head can move. It's moving. What about his legs? Legs cannot move. Oh, oh they wait, go. they can. Can you hear that little click? Oh, yeah, they got the detents yeah. in there to hold position better. That's nice. Yeah. Um, other leg. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I'm surprised that the mouth is not opening. That's like a mouser thing, literally. Yeah, how and like, eat the rats in the sewers, right? Yeah. Let's take a look. Maybe yeah. it's just loose. You need some daddy strength, I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it was just a little stuck from being shipped that way. So it can. Uh, if it didn't open, I would be very in shock right now. Um, but nice yeah, now I can move that, so that's good. Because I don't want... Hey, look at that. What? He's married. To his hmm. left hand. Baxter's hitched. Yeah. Alright, what else like, does he have here? Ring. Every single hand. Every single hand. Every single left yeah. hand has the ring. Alright. Wow, you're married. There's a hair dryer? What is that? No idea. I feel like it's a guy. It's probably, Pro probably is. a blaster, yeah. Yeah, he has two... It's a gun. He has a gun holder. And, um, like I said, other hands. Um, oh, yeah. Well, that's a little hard. Yeah, it's that little antenna uh, thing on there. You're trying to slide it in this way. I always like to get it there. It yeah, there it goes. That might even not even mm -hmm. be the best hand to hold it. Yeah. But he's got a blaster. He's not holding it very well there. And he's Maybe. got this thing. What, what does this look like to you? A fly swatter. Um, and sadly, if you look closely, that's a baby turtle. So, I thought sad. you always smacked the fly swatter with a fly. So, yeah. he's silly. All right. Um, just do that. <laughs> so, what do you think of this guy? Is he kind of neat? Um, yeah, he's really neat, actually. He, he kind of goes with along a with a lot of the yeah, a lot of accessories, stuff. supplies. I also like this. Yeah, that's kind of neat. One thing I don't like about it, like, and there's, like, are there, I feel like there's a, would be m more, I do think this, because, I don't know if you can see that, but there's little latches on there, right there. Yeah, well, the old but line, I oh, when I was little, the vintage line. You could snap those on or yeah, something. Yeah, you could attach them to them. So I think rack. that is where, where that's for, what that's for. 
So yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, he's in scale with a lot of the lines we've collected over the years, right? So let's compare them. Let's take a look at some other uh, classics and ultimate style uh, figures, okay? Okay. All right, cut. Okay. Hey guys, we're back. Um, this is Man at Arms, or Duncan. Um, from the classics, Masters of the Universe, and this is Panthero right here. Um, and this is the Mattel version. The mm -hmm. uh, Super 7 version is more or less the same thing coming soon to people who subscribed. I didn't bother because we mm -hmm. already have this guy. No, sir. Um, yeah. He's probably the shortest, as yeah. you can see. Well, they're, they're, that's the right size, though, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. So we were just comparing them. Uh, so yeah, honest, I, I think... If like I think his I think his wings count because like they're attached to him. He's back part to the of the shopping. body, right? Yeah. And um, so he's probably taller. Uh, yeah, I, he's he's kind of girthy up top, but down here, like his legs are skinny, his mm -hmm. arms aren't real built. So um, you know, it's it's still the same style, and he mm -hmm. scales well with the the classics and the Thundercats and everything that we've got. But also, I think he would be taller if we straightens his legs out. Right, so. right, right. Um, it would we kind of got him into a pose see. similar to the vintage figure that uh, we used so, to yeah, see when I was little. Duncan's being a little weird. Yeah, well, he's, you know, that Duncan. figure's pretty old, too. Um, and so these all scale really well. Um, and from reviews I've seen of people getting their, their first set of the Wave 1 TMNT Ultimates, they're all scaling really well, too. Mm, I really like yeah. uh, Raphael. Seems like he's shorter, like he yeah, should be. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, And uh, the Foot Soldier's pretty tall, but he's also kind of lanky, it looks like. And yeah. we'll get those eventually, so we'll have more reviews of those coming up. Um, and, yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're going to have to try him out in the glow in the dark soon. But you also wanted to see how he scaled with some turtle figures that we already do have, right? Yes. All right. So uh, why don't we just get a few of these out? All right. Now, uh, this one was the Playmates uh, Classics Animation Series, right, that they did. Um, there's Donatello, another scientist. He scales not bad with him, right? He looks all right. He looks all right, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, here's the uh, Mirage version that NECA did. Yeah. And he's got a mouser pretty hanging cool. there, too, right? Now, he's pretty short Probably compared sad. to him. Right? Sad. Those are the, uh, the original comics, too. Now, can I tell you an interesting mouser fact from the original comics? Hmm. Um, some of you, I'm sure, know this already, but if you don't, this is kind of interesting. So... We've talked about 9-11 and the Twin Towers that fell and all that, right? Yeah, yeah. The Mousers were going to attack the Twin Towers in issue two of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon that Mirage put out by uh, wow. Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman. That's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of weird, right? Anyway, we don't want to mm -hmm. go to a dark place, but I just... Mouser fun fact for the day. Cool. Um, and then we've also got NECA's uh, movie style, uh, Leonardo here, right? That's you pretty get him cool. In there? Yeah, that's um, a fantastic figure. It's a very cool figure. There you go. He's my favorite. I mean, he's Leonardo. He's Leonardo's my favorite, but... You've liked him forever. Yeah. Your second uh, birthday party was My Little Ninja Turtle, right? Because you couldn't decide between ponies and turtles? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Did yeah. you have other turtles you wanted to compare? Yes, here? we yeah. do. All right. I mean, this well, had to get every turtle, sure. right? There's the, Raph, and then there's your vintage the style. old one, the original. The old one, yeah. The original. One. <laughs> all right. So he's just... So yeah, one. we've got a lot of different turtle Chicken. things here. Uh, he scales all right with this one, and even kind of this one. The style's yeah. way off, because he's, you know, I mean, this is the Playmate two, style. Obviously, these are the shortest. Yeah. And the mouser, but yeah. he's over here now. That's right. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but this one's pretty short, too, but he's also crouched down, kind of. So yeah, and the turtles, I mean, you, you know, they've been shown as huge in those last couple movies, which... Yes. Eh, um, and they've been shown as real short and everywhere in between, I think. But I, I kind of like them to be a little mm -hmm. bit shorter than your average person. And I also which is what like... what Super 7 seems to be doing, right? Yeah. But I also like that they didn't just, like, put it, like, too tall, because I don't want it to be like... Uh, yeah, no, I do think that future characters in this line, like Bebop and Rocksteady, they're going they're to be... They're going to be big. Maybe not that big. That's more like Titus and Grandamere size, but yeah, pretty big, right? All right, um, we got to check this guy out glowing in the dark, don't we, before we wrap up? And then yes. you've got to do your scale of awesomeness? Mm hmm Okay. Scale of awesomeness. Where are we? We're in my pantry. We're in the pantry, yeah. And um, it doesn't look like it's showing up as well on the... Uh, 
Screen? Screen, but man, does he glow really It's great. like a blue. I was expecting a green. Yeah, it's like a blue bug zapper glow, like the label said. That is really cool. I mean, the mouser, he's right here. He's glowing pretty good for the camera, but man, I, I just wish everyone could really appreciate on here how bright he looks. He looks really cool. And we're not joking like that, though. Wow. Well. There's the weapons rack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Baxter here was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, so yeah, look at him and the mouser. Um, yeah. So isn't there another con going on this weekend? Oh yeah. Um, Power Con. Ex um, yeah. Power Con is going on. You can go to the Power Con website and um, uh, um, Val Staples is gonna be there. Pixel Dan is and Penny. Um. What do you call it? Uh, Penny, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, Penny Dreadful, right? Dreadful, yeah. Yeah, some of your favorites Say there. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of cool stuff happening for PowerCon mm -hmm. this weekend, right? They got new mm -hmm. Masters of the Universe cartoons coming, yeah. the new Origins line, lots Future of information. And lots of different things, right? Sure so if you get a chance, go there. You can join into those cons uh, via yeah. Zoom, right? We're going to be checking them out ourselves. Um, what time is it? Awesomeness time. All right. What do we got on the low end of our scale of awesomeness today, Hermione? On the low end. Bug spray. Mm-hmm. I dig it. And on in the middle, of course, Baxter Stockman. But I'm going to be moving these around a little bit. Okay. All right. So where does Baxter uh, weigh in on a scale of bug spray to Castle Grayskull? Pretty cool, maybe right there. Alright. Mouser right there. Mouser not as cool. Look mm -hmm. at him, he's so sad over there. Oh, he's happy. He's happy. Alright. I might use this guy as a nightlight. He glows yeah. pretty well. He I don't know if it came through in the video well. very well, but overall I think Baxter's kind of a pretty mm -hmm. pretty good toy, right? Yeah, and um, yeah, I'm sure they'll make other characters. Like I said, Bebop and Rocksteady are going to be big, so might want to make some room for them. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. Yeah, so Baxter's pretty cool. And um, I'll see you on the third episode. Bye.